Hey guys, it's Mike here, and it's officially a snow day in Toronto, so I hope you're staying warm and the coffee is good. Uh, I'm gonna teach you one of the biggest mistakes you can make in your MOS exam, and a little bit about SmartArt in this video, so stay tuned for that. So in this activity, we're going to look at how to insert SmartArt and make your bullet points stand out uh, when you're creating a presentation. So we're gonna download this Northside Cookies PowerPoint, and I've got it open right here, and there's two ways to insert SmartArt. So you can click inside the content placeholder, this little icon, insert a SmartArt graphic pops up, or you can go to the insert tab if you prefer. So the insert tab and then go to the illustrations group and click SmartArt. This opens different kinds of SmartArt. You have all of them up here. You have different kinds like lists, uh, whether something's a process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, and all that kind of stuff that you can, uh, depending on the connections that the list has or the connections within your list you can choose different kinds of smart but we're going to choose the relationship one and we are looking for the funnel one so we have to look for one that looks like a funnel that looks like a funnel there so we're going to choose this one okay and there's all kinds so yeah we're going to pick choose funnel and then we're going to press ok now I would suggest to you, once you click on this, there's a little arrow right here. Instead of like clicking on the shapes, which can get a little confusing, especially with this kind of design, um, just click on the left arrow here, and this pulls up like bullet points. So just type in the bullet points as they show uh, down here. Okay, so now that I've got that typed in, so I just type them in just like I would uh, bullet points in a content uh, placeholder on the left side. And what's great about this, if I want to add a shape, so if you're told to add a shape within the insert um, smart art diagram for your test, you could always just, you just press enter and that adds a new shape. But for this diagram, it doesn't like us to add more than four items. Um, and then that's it. So I'm going to close this down and now my shapes are added. And now there's a few things you can add to your smart art diagram if you want to make it stand out a little bit more which is add some style to it you can also if you change your mind you can hover your mouse over um, different kinds of layouts if you take a different approach later on or you just want to experiment and see which one would look best but there's also styles here which is um which is great so one of the most common styles is the polish one on the left side it just kind of makes it look a little bit more 3D. Um, I know inset is also popular, so but we're going to choose uh, the polished type. Okay, and that's it for activity one. That's how we insert SmartArt versus converting it, which we'll do in the next activity. Okay, so now we're going to talk about converting an already existing list to SmartArt. And this is pretty much my reaction when students get this confused on their tests, uh, inserting versus converting SmartArt. All right, so we'll open up the Jerry's Aquatic Smart Art. I've got it right here. And it says in the second step to go to slide three and click on the Convert Smart Art button. So we already have an existing list here and we're going to convert it. So please don't make the mistake of going to Insert and then Smart Art and then inserting a Smart Art on top of this. That's not what we're doing here. So that's a big mistake that we can do. Um, on our test and then it takes us a long time to figure out how to fix it. Instead, we're going to turn this already existing list into SmartArt. So we're going to convert SmartArt. Okay, so we're converting. Converting means it's already existing list and we're just going to make it look nicer with some art. So uh, we're going to click on make sure you've got the whole box selected for this uh, for these bullet points. And then in the home tab, we're going to click convert to SmartArt. Okay, and then we're going to choose the one we want. What's nice about an already existing list is you can kind of hover your mouse over the different kinds and get a kind of a preview of what each one might look like. So that's kind of nice. So you, if you're not sure which one to use, you can kind of experiment. So now we're going to convert the SmartArt button, choose the hierarchy list layout. Okay, so you can go to more SmartArt as well. It's funny, I designed this activity, I don't know which one. Hierarchy list, yes. So it's in the list group. I got uh, confused because it's it was I thought it was hierarchy, but it's hierarchy list. This is the one here, and this is something you should probably know for your MOS exam. You might want to just kind of go through all of the different types of layouts so that if you're asked one, just like um, I got stuck on this one because they pulled up some random design, like some kind of matrix one that I wasn't aware of, but I eventually found it. it just took a lot of time, and during an exam when you're, the clock is ticking down, uh, you don't want to be stuck uh, trying to find a type of smart art, so make sure you 
kind of go through and uh, and get to know some of these ones. And then sometimes uh, the name gives it away, like list. So you look in the list group here. So hierarchy list, that's what we're going to convert this to. And there's our hierarchy list with these uh, principles at the top. And then there's a bit of a hierarchy there. And then we're going to add. So whenever you click on your diagram, make sure you click on the outside, because sometimes I've seen people just click on one shape and that's not what we want to do we want to change the whole smart art graphic or add a style to it so make sure you click on the outside of your diagram whenever you're changing a style or maybe even increasing um, the width or height or something like that so polished again is in the styles group uh, makes it look nice and looks like somebody just cleaned it or something so that's the polished style uh, change the direction of the smart art from left to right yeah so you might have to change the direction as well Maybe uh, one of these principles needs to, or maybe pricing should be the number one because people care about money. So we go uh, right to left, we're gonna switch. And then pricing uh, switches from the very right to the left. So we just kind of like rotated the principles there. And that's what you can do from right to left in this um, Smart Art Tools design tab. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that uh, helps you understand the difference between inserting a Smart Art graphic versus uh, converting one and I hope it showed you how to make your bullet points stand out by using Smart Art in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.